Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Red Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a round-headed um, cam view on the Camtasia. So Camtasia is a great tool to record the screen as well as the face using the camera. So once we open this Camtasia recorder 2019, here we have an option to select the camera source. In my case, I am using this Droid Cam that is used to um, make your mobile as a cam. So probably in the next video, I will tell you how to do that. In this video, we are going to just check how to make the round head. So for example, here you can see it's basically giving you this rectangular view. Okay. Now let's say that I'm just going to start the recorder and I'm going to teach you the best uh, way, the best tutorial on how to increase the font size in a notepad. Okay. So yeah, I know that's still silly, but yeah. So let's say that I'm going to open the notepad and I'm going to type something and I'm going to increase the font size. Okay. So here we'll go to this font and then probably I can just increase and that is the best tutorial I can give to increase the font size. Right. So I think this length of the tutorial is pretty much enough. Now let's go to our recorder and stop this guy. So that's going to bring up the Camtasia editor. By the way, I'm using this version 2019. In 2020, we have a very good option. Probably I can make a video on that in the next video. So first thing, of course, we have to save our project. So control S and just give some uh, project name to this. And then what we have to do is we have to separate the audio and video. So right click on this audio track and click on the separate audio video. Now here we'll, this, this one is basically your, uh, the screen, computer screen recorder, and this is your cam face. Okay. So disable both the other layers. I mean the audio and the computer screen, and then just select your, this one face cam and expand to the full width. Okay. Now just, um, uh, make sure just you can align your face in between. Okay. Now I'm using the right cam which rotate the uh, kind of flips the image or the video. So here I'm going to apply 180 degree so that it will be in this format which looks great I think. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, add a mask to this. So I have already I'm using this mask for all my videos. I have just added into that library. This is just a basically your IMG file with this transparent image and surrounded with green or it can be any color, doesn't really matter. I will just leave a link in the description, probably from there you can download. And here I'm choosing this as a round, it can be star or square box or oval shape, whatever you like, okay. So I'm just going to create a mask now. So I'm just going to drag and drop and I'm going to make sure that it's going to cover my face as well as few of my body parts yeah so let's have a quick look okay this looks perfect now what we have to do is we have to go to the export i mean share and click on this local file and we are going to bounce this mask video okay so let's save this in the some folder Okay, so once the video is exported, now open that video and uh, here is this video, Cam Brown Face. So I'm just going to click finish and I'm going to delete this one and this as well. Okay, now here we are going to import this video now. Okay, so import this video that we expected, exported now and drag and drop into your timeline. Now what we have to do is just go to this more and click on this visual effect. And then here we have remove a color. So drag this and drop on your video. It will be like this in the beginning. So click on this color on the right hand side and click on this. So it will be again in your back as the original. Now again click on this and repeat the process. Okay. So now here we are getting this black because this is going to be transparent. And here you can see we have little green in this border. So you can just define the edge probably like hundred percent that will not this one so uh, just you can increase the tolerance little more and the edge here define edge and that is pretty much fine I believe 
okay now just uh, enable this track and enable your audio as well and here just click on this crop icon and crop your video a little bit so that we don't want the mask to be uh, visible anywhere so you can just crop the video actual the face video okay that's it now you can click on this mouse icon and you can just move it wherever you want and you can uh, do like this okay so this is looking fine so let's go and play this one and okay this looks fine now let's say that i wanted to move this one to some other question you have to just select the whole track and click on s that is used to split now you can just drag it here on the second video just drag it somewhere like here and that's it. So for the first part will be here and the second part will be here. Now if you see the transition here, there is a transition actually. And I'm going to type something. Here. What we can do is we can just select all the tracks and we can stitch this. So go to edit and you can select stitch selected media. So this will give a beautiful transition effect here. For example, if I play this one now. And I'm going to type something. Moving from here to there. And so in this way, you can create a round faces uh, in your Camtasia. We can do the same in OBS as well. Probably I can create a separate video on that later on stages. Okay. So that's it. I hope you got the idea and it's very easy. And I will just leave the link to this green file or else you can create your create by yourself with Photoshop or GIMP any other tool as well. Okay. But of course, I will leave a link in the description. Probably you can use that. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon.